The 5th of October every year is celebrated as World Teachers' Day. On this day, the services of teachers and their contributions to education are acknowledged and their roles and importance for the development of students and society appreciated. In Lagos State, the Babaji de Songwulu administration does not only celebrate these life builders on World Teachers Day, but on a regular basis. We call that Governor Babaji de Songwulu presented 13 brand new SUVs to outstanding teachers and school administrators at the year 2021 Teachers Merit Awards. This is a promise made by Mr. Governor that every year he would be celebrating the top teachers in the state and after taking them through a very rigorous and transparent process. So that is why today is very important. According to the governor, the state's government's investment in education is yielding positive results and the performance of Lagos State students in external examination has improved from 38.79% in 2020 to over 81% in 2021. The state government's investment in education is no doubt yielding positive results. This is evident in the performance of our students in the WIAC GCE, which was significantly improved from 38.79% in year 2020 to over 81% in the year 2021, with a minimum of five credits, including mathematics and English. The various prizes categories include the best teachers and best school administrators in primary, junior, and senior secondary school, while teachers in the special education needs schools and technical colleges were not left out. The winners, full of joy, appreciated the governor for the gifts. We have five cars out of 13 in education district one. This is a great feat. I give glory to God. I thank God for our governor. He has turned around the face of education in Nigeria, not in Lagos State alone. This is a special day in the life of all teachers in Lagos State and all stakeholders in the education sector in Lagos State. It's supposed to encourage our teachers to let them know that they now have their reward right here on earth. And even for those who are coming, to know that teaching is a worthy and a noble profession. I want to say a very big thank you to our Miebu hardworking governor for appreciating we teachers today. I'm beyond excited. I'm overwhelmed. I'm thrilled. I'm very happy that this type of thing is happening in Lagos State and it could only have been Lagos. And I want to seize this opportunity to thank the governor of Lagos State. This is a laudable initiative and it's even in the right direction. It means motivation. It means the grace to continue. It means the grace to transform my life. And it will be an inspiration for me to inspire my teachers that indeed hard work pays, commitment pays, risk for the future of these young people pays. I am very happy to be awarded with these gifts. I'm indeed grateful to the Lagos State Government. I appreciate the fact that we have been celebrated today, not just because of me, because it's going to motivate other people, especially my students. Like I said, I'm a product of a Lagos State School, and now I'm a teacher in a Lagos State School. Winning this obviously motivates my indigent students, and they want to do more. I feel so happy about it. I'm so, so grateful to God, to the governor, to my CGPS. I like to be a teacher, and this is a new beginning. I'll be more committed to the plight of the children, perceived children in public school called children of Mr. Nobody. I will continue to try to raise them from nowhere to somebody. The Lagos State government also introduced the Equexcel initiative to bridge the gap in the quality of instructional delivery. Roll it, keep rolling, keep rolling, Otter, give it up. Yeah. The way it is taught is quite different from the normal road learning, cram and poor methodology that we've been teaching for a long time. Now we are asking our students to take charge of their learning, 
to direct their own learning, to be interested in their own learning. And we are asking and we are equipping our teachers with the skills to be able to teach students in a much more engaging way in the classroom. The QSL, Excellence in Child Education and Learning, is an effort by the state government to transform the basic education sector. The use of tablets and smartphones has empowered over 15,000 public primary school teachers and managers in delivering better quality education services through effective classroom management techniques which has improved learning outcomes and technological skills in state-owned primary schools. All our schemes of work have been integrated with the tablet so it supports them and helps them to teach in class. But the teacher can also use their own initiative in adapting that lesson. But what we do is we support them by giving them examples and so on that they can use in class. I've learned and I've relearned a lot. And I'm going back to the classroom being a different teacher to my puppies there. With this, I know the student will learn and they will even enjoy teaching, unlike when we were young. Many people in private school will run back to the government school because of this request, because it's amazing. We don't leave any child behind. Equizel, in fact, is a program I will never forget in my life. Equize has actually been a positive aspect to my life. At first, when I started this program, I was thinking it's going to be a difficult one. But believe me, it is an interesting course to take. I love how the teachers now more than how they are teaching us before. I noticed a lot of improvements when it comes to her reading. She's so eager to want to read. Whenever he comes back home, he used to recite all what they have been teaching him in the school without taking any notes out. As a government that believes in building the capacity of its teaching workforce, the Lagos State government has continuously trained its teachers in line with global best practices. Such trainings is that which was organized by the Lagos State Universal Basic Education Board, La Subeb, for early childhood care development education teachers and desk officers across the 20 local government education authorities. The program seeks to build the capacity of participants following the introduction of comprehensive schools across the state to provide a suitable career path for students based on intelligence, intellectual, and skill competence, the state government trained its teachers to ensure the success of the new fit-for-purpose and skill-based school model. The teachers were taught how to engage their students to take advantage of their own skills. You are here for the purpose. Yes. You want to add to your knowledge. Yes. So let it count. Let your presence here count. Go back and try to add to what you already know, so that when you are delivering your subject, your teachers will see a new you. 42 primary and secondary school teachers across the six education districts participated in the inaugural orientation pilot immersive teachers development and assessment program organized by the Lagos State Office of Education Quality Assurance in collaboration with HPIDEA. What they did for the whole of one year is they helped us to bring out that creative aspect of, our, of ourselves. They opened our minds to the possibilities. To achieve its vision of leaving no child behind, a four-day training was organized for special teachers on the universal design for learning and utilization of UBEC materials. The goal of the workshop is to doff all barriers to learning and also allow challenged pupils to be independent, develop a sense of belonging, and improve cognitive growth aimed at revitalizing the education sector and ensuring teachers are trained continuously for enhanced productivity, performance, and complete development of students. The Lagos State Government, in partnership with the British Council, organized a capacity building program for teachers and school principals. The initiative is the transformative plan of the government towards exposing teachers to core skills and international best practices. The state government also continually invested so much resources in ensuring its workforce stays healthy 
at all times. It is against this background that the Lagos State Teaching Service Commission organized a sensitization health program on healthy living for teachers of post-primary schools. The six education districts also celebrated their teachers by recognizing their hard work, commitment, and dedication to service at the annual merit awards. Subject teachers from various subject associations in all education districts were also given a platform to showcase the uniqueness of their subject associations. I must express not only mine, but our deepest as teachers, profound gratitude to His Excellency, Mr. Babajide Ulusola Saul. You have always been a friend of teachers, and no doubt, education remains a cardinal pillar of your administration. In recognition of the various initiatives and achievements of Governor Babajide Sonwulu, tailored towards the provision of quality education, the Nigerian Union of Teachers honored Governor Sonwulu with an award. The governor was bestowed with an award as the best in teacher and education friendliness in Nigeria at the 58th National Delegate Conference of the Nigerian Union of Teachers at the International Conference Center, University of Ibado. The award was received by the Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Pola Shade Adifisayo. On behalf of Governor Samuolu, I'm very proud to work with him and I thank him even from here, even as he's listening to us. Thank you very much for this award, NUT. The Commissioner appreciated the Nigerian teachers for the exemplary service to the nation. She expressed the Governor's delight for the recognition and his readiness to continue to support the cause of the teachers in achieving quality education delivery. It kind of reinforces and strengthens our belief that what we are doing is right and that we should continue to do it, continue to improve education, continue to work on our students, continue to improve our schemes of work, continue to support our teachers, our principals, our PSCs, so that education in Lagos State will continue to go up. Those present at the national event include Governor Bagudu Maman of Kebi State, and representatives of governors of Oyo and Undo states, as well as the body of permanent secretaries from the Lagos State Ministry of Education.